get my fish on Throw my line in the water screaming fish on If you gon' rush me then don't come cause I'm a fish long I got my rods and my tackle when the fish is on And I'm a fish on Alright What's going on guys? Well uh, To New subscriber Chad, he was asking me about my setup, man. When I was fishing underneath the bridge on Little Elm on the bank, uh, it's been a minute since I used it. But he was asking me for a uh, type of setup, you know, what setup I was running. And I'm sorry, it is a two piece rod. Uh, bought it from Bass Pro Shop. See if I can get it all untangled real quick so I can show you the setup exactly how I'm running it. Alright. So, like I said, it's a two piece rod. This was my this is my one I always use for, for live bait. Um, hook got stuck in the carpet. Hey, come on, guy. Come on, guy. It's a hot one. Uh, so, what I'm using here is a Bill Dance Quantum. I think it's a, I'll tell you real quick, it's a six, 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 six foot six inches. Um, the line capacity on is the rod. It's uh, six to 14 pounds, lower weight, uh, eight ounce, a half an ounce, and it is uh, medium fast. So it has a lot of bend to it. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. It has a nice, oh, hold it down. I don't know, broke it. Been sitting in my so it does have a nice bend to it. All right, so what I got here is a bobber stopper. This right here lets me know how deep when this uh, float comes up. Let me back it out, show y'all. Oh, where's it at? So what happened is this barber stopper here. Let's see how good y'all can see it. That little barber stopper right there. That's how you change your depth. So, as your weight comes down, your float, your minnow, and with the weight, it's gonna float down. And I think I gotta sit about 10 feet. I always run about 10 feet. It's gonna stop right here. Watch this. Bam. It's a barber stopper. And you can get these on Amazon. Um, fairly cheap, man. They they come in about a hundred pack for like a few bucks. Um, now, slip float. This is a slip float. Slip float. Um, you can buy them different sizes. Um, I I know I ran the bigger one. I think it was a one and a half inch, one and a quarter. When it's really windy, and I add actually more weights to it. These are any number of split shot weights. Um, I can't really remember the size. I think maybe a three, a size three. You know, you don't want the bigger ones. Um, and they ain't about a few bucks at Academy. The slip float, you can buy these at Academy for I think a dollar something, or you can buy them on Amazon. So, what I got right here is a little barrel swivel so your line won't twist 
as your minnow swimming around, it's not gonna twist your line, so this is gonna spin freely. So that's what I used to put the weight right above the, the, the barrel. And then your leader line, I think I'm running, uh, I think it's eight pounds or six pounds on this uh, reel, and I'll tell you, I'll show you the reel. And I think it's an eight or 10 pounds. I'm not, nothing really different. And then I actually add another weight on the bottom too. So if you want to keep the, the minnow from coming up, swimming upwards, if you're running larger minnows, they'll tend to run up, you know. Uh, so you can actually add, more, add a weight towards the bottom. And the hook, I think it's a size one, one knot. Um, I think that's what it is. It's been a minute, man. So that's the red hooks. I like the red ones. Uh, you can get Eagle Claw, a few bucks. They're not expensive. And as you hook, let's see if I got a, I just say this is the minnow, live minnow, the, the top back fin. You hook it up right on the back end of the top fin and just kind of hook it up like that. So the, the minnow's gonna be moving like that, swimming. Or through the nostrils, you'll see the two little nostrils, you come through it, you can go like that, through the nostrils, or you can go bottom of the, bottom of his mouth, through the top, just like that. So he'll be swimming around. But you tend to get more life when if you hook them in the back this way you hook their mouth you close their mouth up they, they won't they won't live that long and through the nostril it's good if you're just kind of lightly throwing it if you try to sling it out it, it will come off so uh, what else now like I said the reel I'm using here is a Centron 3000 uh, from Amazon, I think it was like 25 bucks. Uh, inexpensive, real, but really good. Uh, lines on this, uh, the lines as capacity is 8 pounds, 330 yards, 10 pounds, 270 yards. So it does have a nice drag. And like I said, this is my, my live bait. My live bait uh, rig right here that I always use, man. Um, I just really like it. You know, I have a, I have, what is it? Damn, I can't remember, it's so fucking hot. <laughs> My mind went blank. Hold on, guys. ACC crappie stick, guys. It's a 7.6. It's a medium fast. And my wife got me the PC Fun, uh, the Viper X, and I think it's a 2000. And that's what I'm actually running right now. It's a 7.6, it's a two piece rod. I usually, I think I got, my, my dumb ass, I couldn't find my other line and I ended up putting 10 pound test lines, it's pretty heavy. Uh, but I got two 16, uh, what is that, 16 ounce jig heads on here. About 18, uh, about 20 to 22 inches apart. That's my vertical jigging right here. And this is, like I said, this is my my live bait, my live minnow rig right there. Let me see if I got any pull out. I got anything here. Mm. Yeah, see? I got them right here. There you go. Slip floats, two different styles, longer, uh, I forgot what they call these, but yeah, both styles right there. Uh, don't have any hooks in here no more. I gotta buy some more. If I did, I'll show y'all. But yeah, yeah, Chad, that's about it, man. The setup rig right here, probably. 30, I think it was like a 50, it's a 20 dollar rod, 25 dollar rod at the time, this is about a 50 dollar setup right here, and like I said, if you want to, you know, works perfectly, 
for live bait. This is my rig. This is what I always use, and this I ain't never had no issues, you know, with it. So, yep, that's it. Well, I've been out here all day. I went underneath the bridge, 35 bridge, couldn't catch nothing, man. Uh, I tried to do some crappie fishing. Been trying to bass fish. I've been bass fishing. Um, but I haven't had any luck, man. Uh, the graph I'm running is a uh, first gen uh, Garmin 93 SV Chirp. Uh, I don't have one. I don't have a one up here in the bow. So when I try to mark something, it's hard for me to, you know, fish that waypoint. Cause it's 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 really slow and it's glitched out. It's, it sticks. It says I'm facing one way, but I'm actually facing the other. So I can't really even tell which way I'm I supposed to cast. Um, also, the down view sucks. Uh, try to cram everything on one nine inch screen. Try to side view the mapping and you know down scan it's 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 hard um, but like i said that, that i can't really i mark uh, structure and i go over it with the down scan and it don't even pop up and that's that is weird um i've been looking at getting two lawrence uh lawrence ti2s 12 inch I think it was like 700 and some dollars on Walmart and uh, not a bad deal but it's pros and cons on that and it's discontinued so uh, don't know if I'm gonna get it it's been having issues I guess with uh, the transducer not reading uh, the firmware goes zero 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 other than that or I was gonna get three Garmin 93 SVs with the GT54s, um, two for the helm and one on the bow for the waypoints. <sighs> That's about it, man. You know, I got my other rigs here. Like I said, I've been trying about everything I can out, out, out my arsenal, and uh, I haven't had any luck. Crank base, flipping jigs, uh, football head jigs, uh, football, uh, big worms, 10 inch, 11 inch, 9 inch, 6 inch, crank baits, spinner baits, underspin, uh, just, just trying everything haven't had any luck but yeah that's about it guys I don't know when exactly I'm gonna be able to get on the fish here but summer's been really bad really bad for me so I'm just got another month and a half before fall comes and hopefully the fishing starts and it gets better and by the time hopefully I have the grabs yeah man so it's a it's a struggle right now for me. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get content out for you guys. So, you know, uh, and thank you for sticking around and supporting the channel, supporting me. And hopefully we'll get there and we'll get it going. So, all right, guys, it's your boy Jay on DFW Hookset, and I'm out.